Hi, I am Val and I speak on behalf of Connector X for Mind Connectivity. This is the first video from a series of videos that will introduce you to the concept of mind connectivity. This video and the following describes how the connectivity level of our individual mind structure impacts all the aspects of our lives. Once you understand the concept and the knowledge behind mind connectivity, you'll be able to see all other existing methods of mind emancipation in a new light. This provides you with a personal understanding which allows you to gradually see the real essence of your individual mind structure and of your surrounding reality. Before proceeding to talk about mind connectivity, I would like to quickly remind you what artificial connectivity is and what connectivity means. Artificial connectivity is referring to all the connecting processes plus all the connecting algorithms plus the internet network connectivity and or the wireless connectivity that are used by all the technological devices developed to connect us with information, people, objects, events, etc. Much faster and broader than our current natural connecting capability. Artificial connectivity is constantly improving and evolving. Actually, all the future technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning, Internet of Things, Industry 4.0, Autonomous Vehicle, Big Data, Quantum Computing, 5G and 6G, etc. are developing mainly because of the continuous improvement loop created around the artificial connectivity. Connectivity concept is another concept that most of you are familiar with, mostly from social networks and internet networks. A short definition of electronic devices connectivity. It is the ability of a device to connect with similar or different devices for exchanging information efficiently by using the internet. The better or higher its connectivity is, the faster and broader its ability to connect with a bigger number of similar or different devices is. In the context of social media, connectivity means the ability of a social media platform to connect with as many users, products, and or information as possible and as efficiently as possible from the platform user's point of view. The better or higher connectivity of a social media platform is, the larger is number of its users, products, and information connected together. In addition, the higher is the satisfaction of the platform users. The concept mind connectivity has emerged as a necessity for a new smart alternative to create a balance in favor for human mind development with the aim to give the people's mind connectivity improvement at least of the same importance as we do give to technological and artificial intelligence's development. Mind connectivity concept is about individuals' human mind structure and its abilities to connect us with the surrounding reality. The concept emphasizes three essential aspects. If these aspects are understood and applied, they will improve our current way of thinking and this will increase the efficiency of our brain usage in an unprecedented way. First aspect is the fact that all the experiences a human being is going through in his or her life are in fact an endless series of connections and disconnections with the surrounding reality. Means people, objects, events, activities, and information. Connections that are always done through a person's individual mind. This is true for each and every one of us. The second aspect is to understand that individual conceptual mind, it's not an abstract, empty concept, but instead it is a very subtle, multidimensional network structure, similar to an internet network, but multidimensional, or to be more precise, a multidimensional portal that helps each and every one of us to see the surrounding reality in a similar but personalized way. The third aspect is that if you understand the first two aspects with all the implications, you can easily go further and learn to improve your individual's mind connectivity. And this will allow you to connect faster, broader, and more efficiently with the surrounding reality. Once again, that means people, objects, events, activities, and information. 
Moreover, an increase of the mind connectivity level will automatically trigger an increase of the brain usage efficiency, which is equivalent to brain's activation above the current 5% of its full potential. People with only few exceptions, of course, are using only 5% of their brain's full potential, mainly because the actual mind connectivity level is kept low by many very old and limiting thinking patterns we are still using to define the surrounding reality. The brain has many levels of connectivity, but the actual thinking patterns can activate and make use of only two or three levels, and even these only partially. This is the main reason for which we are able to use only 5% from the entire brain's potential. The other connectivity levels of the brain are still active, but they are in a potential underdeveloped state, mainly because the ancient thinking patterns we are currently using are designed to keep them unused, therefore underdeveloped. If we were to redesign old thinking patterns to increase mind structure connectivity level, this would gradually activate and make use of a larger portion of our unused brain potential. The first great benefit is obviously the unlocking brain's potential, or in other words, we would begin using a much larger portion from its unused capability. The second very important benefit is an increase in overall happiness, as happiness level is directly related to mind connectivity level. The higher is the mind connectivity level, the higher your happiness level would be. And finally, one of the most important benefits is that people with an improved mind connectivity level would have a more holistic vision over the future technologies. And this means that it would help us to avoid the unknown traps of artificial intelligence's overdevelopment. Mind connectivity improvement is not based on secrets, magical techniques, or sorcery. It is just simply based on learning and understanding what individual mind is and how mind functioning is affecting every aspect of our life and ultimately our destiny. It is not that difficult to understand what the mind and its processes are. A bit more difficult though is to start effectively improving your mind connectivity level because the old mind patterns will not change easily without a fair amount of discipline and consistency applied. But is the effort to improve your mind connectivity level really worth it? Well, knowing the benefits that you know now, the answer is absolutely yes. We need to understand two things. First thing is that we are designed to activate and use our brain's entire capability. The second thing is that unlocking the brain potential is the only path to securing our future and a brilliant destiny for mankind. Activation of a bigger percentage of the brain potential will come with a much higher understanding over the planet's ecosystem and the role that humankind needs to play to recreate and maintain the balance. We are currently developing artificial intelligence technologies with an increased connectivity, but sadly, we are in fact forgetting to improve our own mind connectivity. But this is about to change as there is a strong need to change the current thinking patterns more than ever before. We need to create the balance in favor of human mind development with the aim of not only keeping up with the pace of technological and artificial intelligence's development, but also finding the ways to quickly restore the natural ecosystem of the planet in a different, new way. As the ways we tried before, well, they were not successful. And for a reason. They were not successful because these ways were created with our low-minded connectivity level perpetuated over centuries and millenniums. The truth is that you cannot really fix a problem with the same mind connectivity level that you have used when you created the problem. The bigger your mind connectivity level becomes, the smarter your solutions to fixing these same problems are going to be. We now know that this comes from computers and software that we created. Softwares are even smarter than us, and they're getting smarter day by day. And you? What do you think? Do you feel that you have reached your true potential? Are you happy with the fact that only technological devices become smarter and smarter, and you don't? Would you allocate time to improve your mind connectivity level 
if, let's say, you would know how to do it. If you want to find out more about what mind connectivity is and what can you do to improve your mind connectivity level, please subscribe to this channel and visit the website at www.mindconnectivity.com. A series of books about mind connectivity will be very soon available to you. Mind connectivity, mind connectivity level and happiness. Mind connectivity, conceptual mind, upgrade. Mind connectivity, time and space. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.